To say the last couple of years in gaming have been a bit disappointing, especially from a AAA standpoint, would be probably a large understatement. However, some of the most anticipated titles in recent decades are coming out this year, especially if you're a first-person fan. Whether getting incomplete games at launch, having games not work properly, seeing games that we really enjoy start going down the tubes, there's been just a number of things that have been very disappointing if you're a gamer in the 2020s. Now, there's no guarantee that the games on this list are going to do any better than recent uh, disappointments, but things look very good. So this is my top five list of first-person games coming out this year. Starfield comes at number one on my list because at heart, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. And one of the, my favorite games in the last couple of years that I've played is a game called Star Citizen. However, that game has a number of issues um, we're not going to get into. But one of them is that it's not terribly easy to just jump in and start learning to play without a lot of help. Starfield not only looks amazing and is made by Bethesda, who is well known for making outstanding RPG games, but this sci-fi space extravaganza also will most certainly be a far more approachable version of something like Star Citizen. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. This is where we belong. Now, had Starfield not come to my attention, you know, months ago and, and made me way too excited, this game probably would have been number one in this list. Six Days in Fallujah is almost certainly the most anticipated tactical first-person shooter in recent memory. It's been delayed on two different occasions, but after a lot of trouble and strife, this game is finally done and going into early access in just a couple of days. This is Six Days in Fallujah. Every day guys knew the first guy through the door is probably gonna die. I'm next. It's only natural for me to be next. Like, I hope it's quick. Hope it's painless. You start to, like, plan your own death.
16. X Defiance coming in at number three today, and the reason for this is because, you know, there was a time in my life when I used to like games like Call of Duty. I started playing more tactical based first person shooters, but there is always still a place for this style of game for me, and I know for a lot of other people, but Call of Duty has become so stale with so many weird problems that make it very difficult to enjoy. Um, X Defiant has the opportunity here to come in and give a lot of players what they are looking for in something like Call of Duty, or at least the feeling we used to get when we played Call of Duty back in the day, but do it now and do it for free. Weapons and attachments to customize and fit your play style. At its core, X Defiant features realistic gunplay and the fun, familiar mechanics of an arena shooter. Each battle will take place on one of our 14 starting maps. Play casual matches and have fun with players of all types and skills, where every match delivers an unpredictable and unique experience. Or play ranked mode in competitive matchups against your peers to push yourself further and see what you're truly made of, whether you're a beginner or ready to dominate the game. X Defiant is free with crossplay, so jump in with your friends across platforms. And as a live game with fresh new content every single season, X Defiant will continue to deliver an accelerating experience that will always be free to play and never pay to win. So I gotta be honest, I didn't play the original Stalker. I'd never had a PC. Uh, now, for a, the longest time, I haven't had a PC. I only recently got one just about uh, two years ago now. So this game was something I never really knew much about, uh, this one particularly, and the first one. But this looks amazing. And I know that the original Stalker, after doing some reading on the old interwebs, it's one of the most beloved dark RPG first-person games around. So this game looks incredibly interesting to me, and I have a feeling it looks incredibly interesting to a lot of you. An achievement comparable at best to the conquest of space. Don't want the innocent to suffer? Then help me find the culprit. And who the fuck are you? And what do we have a decade later? The zone. In our image. After our likeness. My men are still lying out there. And I can't even bury them! in an anomaly, shot by loners, found with a stone around his neck, thrown off a cliff, torn apart by dogs. You cannot kill God, just like you cannot get rid of the sky up above. I am blind. But it is you who cannot see. All right, guys. Payday 3 is rounding out this top five list. Now, I played Payday 2 uh, a long time ago on PS4 a little bit. Enjoyed it. Tried to play it again more recently. It was kind of hard for me. The graphics, not great. It's an old game, though. i got to remember that. And this new edition, this new updated version, this not so much sequel, but we'll call it that, it looks really good. And if you're into heist, PvE, co-op, first person shooting madness, you probably need to keep an eye out for this. Pay D3.
Thank you guys for stopping in today. Have yourself a great week.